<laughs> Hello, Nintendo fans. My my name is Mario Master. How are we doing today? And welcome to the Engineer. Um, I have no idea what this game is about. I can only imagine. Um, if you guys can hear a low hum in the background, because my fan is on, because it's hot as shit. Oh, uh, I have to. Boo! I have to complete the tutorial. Uh -oh. Welcome to your final exam at the School of Engineering. Here, oh God. you shall demonstrate that you deserve to be qualified as an elite engineer. Let's start with uh -oh. something simple. Make your way over to the highlighted area around the corner. All right, wow. well, I can Fantastic do that. Job. Whoa. Now, let's start building. Show me what a beam is. That's a okay. beam. Now, hit the build button at the top left of your screen. Build. Hmm. Oh, Usually fuck. they work better when you actually fix them onto the wall. Try again. This time with a fixed, fixed okay. beam. Now. Hit the build button at the top left of your screen. Build. I did Show it. Show me how you would brace these two beams together. With. Great. You finally did something on your first try. Now, place a sheet between these beams. I did it. Try nailing it to the beams this time. Why is this kind of complicated? Hold the align nail to view key when placing a nail to align it to the camera view. What? Members don't line up perfectly. Press left shift. See how this makes it easier to nail members that aren't aligned properly? Now, onto blocks. Place a block. I placed a block. Okay, not sure what you were expecting there. Try using mortar this time. I, I did it. Much better. I'll just pretend you did it on your first try. Oh, Remember, shut up. Any blocks placed in the ground are automatically buried securely as a foundation block. Ah. Let's replace the final wheel on this cart and nail it on securely. We could make a mechanical engineer out of you yet. Show me an example of a freely rotating joint. This is complicated. I'm looking forward to seeing some practical use of that member. Use one of our patented hamster powered propellers to power the vehicle. Is it really? <gasps> there is a hamster in there. These hamsters really do love their work. Attach That's these funny. together with a rope. Jesus Christ. Is it really just going to go through everything? Temporary construction lines are key to efficient structural planning. Place a vertical construction line on the right hand block. And then connect uh -huh. the two vertical construction lines with a horizontal construction line. Uh, hold. 
hold. Let's try again. Uh, try placing a horizontal construction line. Click. Uh, on one construction line, drag. There we go. These will help you design more complex structures. Don't that was kind of complicated. Sometimes even engineers make mistakes. Show I did certain it. Certain projects, you'll be able to choose where you start from. Relocate the engineer somewhere. You can tell a lot by the color of a member. Green, orange indicates there is a clash, which okay. red means the member cannot be placed here. Advanced okay. construction techniques allow for precision. Oh, uh, Jesus Christ! Key. While holding down the scale key, you can adjust the scale of the beam. Click and drag to shorten the beam, or alternatively, use the scroll wheel. Oh. Click, hold, right, left, and I'm I'm scrolling, and it's not working. <laughs> oh! While placing like a sheet between two points, hold the offset key, and then scroll up or down to offset the sheet. Left alt. Oh. Now for the easy Beautiful. part. The health and safety Ow. compliance test. Let's start with standing up. Hold stand up. the stand up key until you... Wow. Perfect form. Now... Walk over to the highlighted area. Use the left foot and right foot keys to control each of your legs. Alternatively, use the auto walk key. This is handy for covering larger distances, but is less accurate with foot placement. So watch your step. This might be one of the greatest games I've ever played. As you're well aware, a big part of getting around any construction site involves use the left hand grab key to grab with your left hand and the right hand grab key to grab with your right hand. Simple Jesus. Really. Holding down the climb key while grabbed will pull you upwards. This is fucking complicated. Aha. <laughs> I did it. Holy balls, all right. Great, you made that look very easy. Climbing clearly comes very naturally to you. Now, grab hold of this cart and then push it to the highlighted area. 
Congratulations. You're now a qualified engineer. I'm nowhere near qualified. All right. Well, that was just the tutorial. Jesus. That was like 10 minutes. How long was that? That was, I said 10 minutes. I was kind of joking. Ten minutes, dude. Welcome to the continuing professional development area. Ah. Start. This is a simple character mission, which just requires you to reach a destination. Walk to the highlighted area at the end of this path. Remember, to view the character controls, press the guide key. Can I not? Alright. God, this is fucking the dumbest, best game ever. So I have to release W. This mission requires you to pick up the barrel and carry it to the highlighted area. Use the left hand reach and right hand reach keys to reach out with your left and right hand. Left click grabs with your left hand and right click grabs with your right hand. Remember, to view the character controls, press the guide key. This mission will require a bit of climbing. Use the left hand reach and right hand reach keys to reach out with your left and right hand. Use the left hand grab key to grab with your left hand and the right hand grab key to grab with your right hand. Simple, really. Holding down the climb key while grabbed will pull you upwards. Remember, your hands will reach out in the direction the camera is looking, so use the camera to aim your hands. There, I did it. Holy shit. capable of holding up this box above the ground for at least eight seconds. Remember, when you have a member equipped, the guide on the left of your screen displays the different controls for that member, including how to scale, rotate, and offset it. I did it. You know what? It's fine. Looks good to me. A fucking plus. Let's go, boys.
This mission is one that combines building and the character. First, you must design a bridge and then cross it to the highlighted area with the character. When attaching a beam to a wall, remember to use a fixed connection to ensure the beam is securely fixed to the wall. A beam placed on a wall with a free connection will not actually be attached to the wall and would just fall down when built. You can toggle between free and fixed connections in your building bar under connection type. The free connection is red and the fixed connection is green. Also, remember, you can scale members by holding the scale key and dragging your cursor left and right while placing it. Really fucking intense music for building a goddamn bridge. Kind of unnecessary, if you ask me. You know what? Good, good enough, dude. Right, beautiful. Alright, the fucking music, I can't. I can't listen to the fucking music anymore. It's it was it was funny like the first time, but now it just got annoying really fucking fast. I'm I'm sorry, game dev. But like, goddamn, the fucking music got annoying so fast. You know, I was not expecting this game to be this kind of complicated. I'm going to be entirely honest here. Pow. Pow. You know what? It's 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 fine. It's fine. If it breaks and I die, then I'll laugh because it will be funny. All right. Uh, uh beautiful. Build it. 
This is kind of cool. I like that. Beautiful. Lo looks good to me. Now I gotta walk on it. Look at this majestic man. I fucking did it. Time, 16 seconds. Yeah, no. Not including the um, thing, I guess. Start. This mission is another one that combines building and platforming elements. Oh. To design a tall tower capable of holding the weight of the platform. Then you must climb to the top of that tower, onto the platform, and stay inside the highlighted area for five consecutive seconds. Five consecutive seconds. When designing seconds. a structure made to hold weight at height, it's always wise to properly brace your structure. Brace your structure. Okay. Well, um, I'm gonna cheat, I guess. Right here ish. Yes. Oh, that was powerful. Wow. Okay, I have to be honest, the camera is kind of hard to control, but like, I can handle it. It's just kind of annoying. Gonna be entirely honest there. Right. Um, beautiful. Mm. All right, that is kind of horrifying, not going to lie. I'm just making it stronger. Yes. All right. Now it's that. Um. Oh shit. Oh shit. I keep forgetting that. Like I have to hold caps lock while I do that. Uh, caps lock. No. Caps lock. Also, extremely interesting key controls, I have to say. Oh shit. Fucked. Uh you know what? It's it's a uh, fine. It's fine. This is like the greatest game ever. Alright. I'm gonna be entirely honest. There definitely needs some like some work definitely needs to be done when it comes to this game. Um which I will say for later. Because, like, unironically, this game is actually pretty fun. I'm not going to lie. But, like, just some of the controls are kind of eh. But other than that, this actually is pretty fun, so. Like, I can't lie. This game is kind of fun. It's just kind of stupid, and that's what I like about it. Because, as you guys know, I I love fucking stupid games. 
Some of them, not all of them. I do like I do like a lot of stupid games though. Cause stupid games can be good. That's the thing. <laughs> no what? Can we get the um in the arms of an angel? I just got that fucking song in my head for no reason. Alright, um this is probably like the most beautiful creation that you've ever seen in your life. And um it's uh gonna work. Totally gonna work. One hundred percent gonna work. It's not going to work. Yeah, the camera has to be, like, the worst part of this game. <laughs> Outside of that, this game is actually pretty fun. It's just dumb. And that can work, you know. I'm not going to lie. Just being a dumb game can work. Just some of the controls are pretty eh at best, so... I've never had to use both Q and E in a game like this, where it's like, I don't know, it's weird. All right, well, now I got to climb it, right? So what I need to do is on the side of this beautiful creation. I'm going to assume that I can climb sheets. And if I can't, then I'm depressed. Because this won't work. All right, beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. All right, and build. I didn't put any nails in the sheet. I can increase the speed. Uh. <laughs> you know what I think I think I think I think that's a good place to stop alright um that was the engineer oh my god so don't get me wrong this game is good. It's stupid. It's pretty funny. But the controls are pretty bad. The music is pretty eh. I mean, like, I I had to turn down the music. The music was funny for, like, the first bit. But, like, 
outside of that, it just got like, eh, you know. <sighs> it's just kind of annoying. That that's the thing though is the music just got annoying really fast. So, I mean, give Engineer a try, I guess, if you want. But I thought this game was going to be way more fun. But no, it's just way more complicated than I thought it was going to be. But uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, thank anybody so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out my Twitter, Discord, and Patreon. All linked in the description below. Patreon is $1 a month. I do extra videos. And that's it. Peace. Bye.